the water flooded in faster than they could bail it out. Residents in the valley town of Pontypreth rallied together as emergency services responded to the devastation of Storm Burt. Many angry at what they feel was a lack of preparation. Put a flood defence in instead of a Harry Potter fence. Do your job, what we pay them money for. As you can see, National Resources Wales have just put to replace the railings back again. It doesn't really? do anything. As soon as it goes, it comes in through there it again. Nice. Eight o'clock this morning, I was told to move my car. And I moved my car safely. But eight o'clock this morning, but it was already coming in. The council here declared a major incident on Sunday. Extra resource was deployed and rest centres set up nearby. A lot of people have only just repaired their homes after the last big flood in 2020. Now they're back to square one, but it's not just houses that have been ruined. Businesses have been destroyed here as well. For garage owner Gareth, his whole business has been lost overnight. Our drum's obviously gone over and the oil's spilt everywhere. Everything's coated in oil. Many of his customers' cars, now write-offs. Well, I, I'm gutted, obviously. It's... How long is it going to take to sort it out, you mean? And I'm not... I'm going to lose money either way, and I, do you know what I mean? I have the time to take all it. I can't work on people's cars when I'm trying to sort all this out. It's, um, it's devastating. It's not just Ponty Preeth affected. In North Wales, a body was found by police officers searching for a 75-year-old man who'd been walking his dog near the River Conwy. Across South Wales, flooding caused landslides and swept cars away. The latest estimate uh, we're working on is between two to 300 properties, mixture of residential and some commercial, but mainly residential. Uh, teams are out now trying to establish if they've had internal flooding. Certainly a number of properties have had internal flooding. Uh, mainly from river flooding, but also in some cases it's culverts have overflowed. So there's a lot of teams out, uh, they've been out all day today. Our housing teams are also engaging with people and tomorrow there will be a big recovery operation starting. There are still hundreds of flood warnings in place across the UK. As Storm Burt moves on, its impact may be felt for days to come. Dan Whitehead, Sky News in Pontypreth, South Wales.